Okay. You're ready. Are we ready? Okay. <laughs> ready. We are going to do an adoption. And this is a very, very, very special adoption because it's a wonderful cat um, named Enola. We kind of gave you the heads up a um, little while ago that Enola was going to be adopted. But not only is this a special cat, she's being adopted by OJ, who is our special, I'm being special adopted friend. By Enola. Yep, special friend and a special neighbor. So Enola, when we get done here, we're gonna just walk her across the backyard and go right into LJ's house and she'll be in her forever home. Enola came to us in um, April 13th, 2019. So she was uh, six years old then and her birthday is April 3, 2013. So we have to have okay. a birthday party that. Absolutely. She was 10 pounds at that time which was a rather okay weight for her. And then she discovered what snackers were. <laughs> and she loves them. And she's now at 11 pounds, 12 ounces. But she's at a happy weight. She loves it. And we love her so very much. When um, Enola came, I actually wrote up a little story about her. It says, Enola, the sweet girl that had lived in, has lived in Palmart for months. She arrived here originally on April 13, 2019, after being severely bitten by a groundhog on a farm. She was taken to Dr. Darcy's office. After realizing the severity of her wounds, she was relinquished to the vet office. They, in turn, asked FFRC if we would take her. And of course we would take her. She's black and white. Her right side of her face had a very large laceration. The groundhog had bitten through the whole cheek of her face. It went clear through the cheek and went back here even. Dr. Darcy did her repair job and did a superb job of that. I even mentioned to Dr. Darcy how wonderful it looked and when we took her sutures out, I took a picture of it and sent um, the picture of Enola's face here to Dr. Darcy so she could see. And I told her, I said, you did a really great job patching that up. And she said, jokingly said, well, she followed the dot to dot marks on her because she's got some dot to dots on there. And you can't even see it. You can't. I remember um, Darcy had sent me a uh, video of it and when she would slap her head because it bothered her, this would actually open up. It was a terrific wound on her. She preferred living in the Palmart where she was the center of attention. She now will live with LJ, our next door neighbor. She has Coranda towers, lots of beds, windows, and a patio door to look outside. She's one of those kitties that went from outside living to the queen of her very own home. And because um, Enola doesn't really, she didn't want to come up. And do you know what her name spells backwards? The spells alone. And I remember when um, LJ, it always makes me want to cry, when LJ told me she would like to adopt her and that she's the one who realized spelled backwards her name means alone, LJ told me that she or Enola will never be alone again. So I always love that. So here's some pictures of her. There's Enola over at the Palmart. She's so cute. There's another one. We had a toy. She's going to get it. And there she is. She was batting it. We'll go back so you can catch that again. Oh, she says catch it's mine. Action. Yep. There she says, I'm going to get it. She's just a beautiful girl. There she's playing. She loves her toys. So her bed, her toys, her um, stick toy, that all goes home with her. So we're going to all kind of leave FFRC for just a little bit and go over with LJ so we can see her come over and um, have fun and get her in our new home. In. Yeah, get her all settled in. So thank you for um, enjoying Enola, too, who will never be alone. Never, ever, ever. Never, ever. ever. Thanks, everybody. We love this girl. I am so excited. I'm so happy. No, this is... No, this is no, this is my gift. Why don't you? That's my gift. Let's go take a look at the 
I love you too. What you gonna say? Look, look at the kids are playing. The yard. LJ is on the yard side. Oh my.